Accessing Smart Photos from Perfect Effects 9 Premium is very easy. When you open up the program as a standalone and you click the Open button, I'm going to scroll through and choose a photo that I'd like to edit. Once I have it selected, and I go down to the bottom right to click Open, in the dialog box that pops up, it gives me the ability to edit my original or my copy. I'm going to choose Edit a Copy and then go to the Copy Options section to check the Smart Photo Re-Editable PSD box. Once that's checked and my file format is set to Photoshop file, I can go down to the bottom right and click OK. Now, this photo that I'm working on will be a re-editable PSD. I'm going to go over to the left-hand side and apply a quick preset. I'll go over to my Favorites Library, scroll down to the On One Silver Sunset Favorite Look, and click once to apply it. Once it's added to my image, take a look at the filter stack on the right-hand side. We've got a lot of different filters here that I can make adjustments to, but for now, I'm going to go down and just click Save and Close. Once I'm back at this same page, let's go over and click that Open button one more time. At the bottom of this folder, you're going to see my original photo right next to the Smart Copy PSD. I'm going to reopen my Smart Photo Copy, go down and click the Open button. Now when you come back to this dialog box, it's extremely important that you choose the Edit Original option. That means that we're going to edit our original smart photo. Once that's chosen, I'll go down and click OK. It'll take my photo back into effects, and on the right-hand side, you're going to see that all of those exact same filters, including their masks, are just where we left them. I can go in and I can make adjustments from here. For instance, I could change the dynamic contrast filter. The layer opacity is set to 11, so I'm going to move that up to the right to add more dynamic contrast to this photo. I can also go down and add or subtract filters, I can change masks, and so much more. Once I'm done, I'll click Save and Close one more time, and the best part is my original photo and my smart photo copy will be the only two versions of this image.